Hi guys, in this lesson we're going to talk about how to share behavior between our classes using modules. So for that purpose exists something called extend, extend and include. Okay. So let's get in round with the the first thing we're going to do is create a class and a module. I created a file called person.rb in my workspace. So let's let's start work of it. Um, let's create a module called say hello. Then we're going to create a method called say hello. This method is going to print hello and will print a parent called name. Okay, so next I'm going to create a class. Just imagine this class is in another file or in, in, another, in another location because um, this module and this class I'm going to create they do not know the existence of each other. Okay. But instead of changing from tabs here, I'm just creating everything in the same file for make it easier to understand. Um, I'm going to make this uh, an attribute accessor for name attribute. Oh, wait. Make we can initialize it's going to be the name then name is going to be equals to name and that's it that's what we need okay so we have here a module and a class both are in the same file but they do not know the existence of each other okay it's very important that you understand that so now what I'm going to do is to create an instance of the class person person that new going to send the name Sebastian okay and I want to have access to this say hello method as you can see we define that this method is going to access to an attribute called name but uh, the method does not know um, about this attribute okay so what I want to, to say is that we can tell this class or an object of this class to to include or to extend to this um, module and so we will have access to this method so this method also will have access To the classes here okay I mean to the attributes here so first let's let's say person I'm going to learn something new here called extend extend will let us access to that method so let's make that extend and the class and the module name and let's make this smaller okay and the model name is say hello now we can call the method person dot say hello let's see what happened so ruby Ruby modules, Ruby modules, and person.rb. And here you have we could access to this method. But if you look closely, we are calling the extend on the object. So it means every object we create of this class, we have to extend it in order to access to this. Uh, to this method and that's very annoying 
if you are going to have a lot of objects. So there is another concept called include. So instead of extend the object, we can include the, the module directly in the class. So let's include the the module say hello, okay? And it's going to be the same and we don't need now the extend that we did before. Okay, and it worked the same way. So can we also can can use can use extend directly in the class but uh, they are different include and extend have have some differences and those differences are that uh, include let our class access to the to the module but only from their instances while extend let us access to the module from a class level so let me show we show you with a very simple example how this works i'm going to create a new a new file called let's call it 2.rb just for the nothing thing about names right now i'm going to paste here a class and i'm going to explain okay so what we have here what we have here is just two modules the format attributes module and the format of module and, well, and the class called curriculum so we are going to use the, these two modules for give format to our attributes once we want to print them so first uh, we are going we, we are using form attributes module for save all of our, of our attributes in, in this instant variable called format attributes it will work like a box for save all our, the attributes we want to give format and we have the formatter module that will display the um, all the attributes in the format we want so you should notice two things here first we are using extend and include in the same class so we are using extend for format attributes because we want to access these methods in a class level okay we are calling this format so this is this this method from the class for save all the all the attributes in this uh, instance variable and another method for access to those to this one to this variable and we have this format model with this display name that will iterate over our format attributes and print them in the way we want. Okay, so I'm going to print the name of the attribute and the uh, and the value of the attribute. Um, so let's give life to this to this program, making an instance of it. So let's say curriculum equals to curriculum dot new and say curriculum dot name Sebastian curriculum dot email equals to okay uh, curriculum dot exp Experience equals to let's say whatever here I'm going to say Ruby okay and then call the the method display okay great so now we have our curriculum and we are giving giving it format through this one and this one these two modules so let's let's, let's see them work okay oops this is not to the orbi oh two okay oops i committed a mistake here this is two s and two and uh, okay see both are different methods okay this is for convert the attribute 
symbol that we are going to do. symbols is another topic we're going to see in in the next stage and uh, these two s that convert that to string and okay that is uh, we saw that in the strings stage okay right here you have uh, we have our three uh, our three arguments or attributes of the class with the right format thanks to these two models but you should be wondering so this is not very useful blah 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 okay don't worry let me show you that this is really useful in case we want to give the same format to more than one class we just can create a new class so let me create a new class for example I'm going to delete this called article um, you just have to extend and include properly in order to get to have access to the, the modules and let's create three arguments for this title title heading and body copy this and we have a new class with other attributes with the same format so we can create article instance equals equals to article dot new article dot new article oops article dot title equals to sample article dot heading All that body that's it and just display it let's see how it works oh here you have another class with another field with the same formatting just including and extending properly the modules we have created we are going to use these when we creating uh, gems for Ruby and Rails and everything so this is a great introduction for make more complex stuff but that will come later so I recommend you do not forget these concepts when we are working in the complex stuff um, this is the last lesson of this stage about Ruby models we have a short quiz for you don't forget to take it the link is in the description of the video or in an annotation here in the video as always um, don't forget to follow me on Twitter I'm Bastion Blandia for the Race Karate we are also on Facebook always keep an eye on RaceKarate.com where you will find the transcript of this video and um, thanks for subscribing to our channel we are making amazing content and we hope you are liking it um, if you like this video please click a like right below this video um, see you next stage bye bye